Fuck! No, don't hit my Psyduck! Don't hit my Psyduck! No! No, I mean, don't hit my Barb there! Ah! I don't know why I said Psyduck. Never mind. Well, we're running away. Fuck you. We're running away and we're sleeping. Oh, wait! Oh, shit, she can evolve! Oh, is it Sylvie on time? Damn! Come on, it's Sylvie on time, baby! Let's go! I mean, she should be a Sylveon since she has baby doll eyes. Yes! Sylveon! My baby! Ah, yes! Let's go! Oh, look at her little jump! Did you see her little jump? <gasps> oh, you- oh, so you want to die. Here I am, trying to praise my Sylveon's little jump, and here you are trying to hurt her. Now look at her little jump. That's adorable. And now you're dead. Oh! Rosalia can evolve too. Nice. Here comes our golden child. Let's go, boys. Now we just gotta get her a shiny stone and then she can be a rose raid. Damn, two evolutions in one day. Love to see it, guys. Oh! Minx can evolve. Alright, three evolutions in one day. You love to see it, boys. Let's get the big kitty cat. Nice. Come on, get up. Get up there. There we go. Good job. Over here, Yui. Alright, I'm coming. I'm coming. Ursaluna is enraged. Yes, but he still must recall his long relationship with the Pearl Clan. He never fails to show up the moment I play my Celestica flute. Oh, here he comes. Here comes that boy! Oh shit, what up? Alright, I guys, I want you guys to look at Ursaluna, and I dare you to tell me that he does not look like the sea bear from Spongebob. Actually, let me, let me, let me pull up a picture real quick. Let me grab a picture real quick. See? Literally the same creature. Look at this. Like, it's like looking in a mirror right here. See? I bet you can't tell which one's Ursaluna and which one's the sea bear. Now show your medal to Ursaluna. But remember that Ursaluna is a Pokemon very dear to the Pearl Clan. I will not permit you to catch him. Damn it. Fooled again. Alright, get out there, Seraph. Alright, if I recall correctly, Ursaluna's normal and ground. Oh! Hot damn! Okay, maybe it wasn't a bad idea to grind him up to level 25 considering, uh... This thing is fucking level 26. Got him, boys! Ha! <laughs> Broke gamer strats! You love to see it! Ursaluna, my poor darling, you must be exhausted from running around like that. Come, let me make you all better. I have here a special medicine of the Pearl Clan. It'll clear out any poison in a Pokemon's body. If poison's what's causing Ursaluna's rage, this is sure to calm him down. We'll call it Toxagon! Clever. Clever name. I like that. Blah! It's so potent that we can only use it on tough, resilient Pokemon like Ursaluna. There, there, dear Ursaluna. You've calmed down now, haven't you? This is all very strange, though. He wasn't glowing. Very astute of you, Galaxy Team Recruit. Hey, I have a name, you know. It's Yui. I mean, you could also call me the Sinnoh Champion, but yeah, whatever, I guess. You're exactly right. When you quote Cleavor's frenzy, I could see the strange light rising into the sky all the way from here. But no such strange light erupted from Ursaluna after you defeated him, nor was he glowing. And what is this clinging to Ursaluna's coat? It seems like some kind of powder. That girl from the Diamond Clan, Adizu. Now why did she, all of all people, find the need to come and tell me about Ursaluna, I wonder? Oh, but I almost forgot something important. Play your Celestica flute for me, won't you? Sure. Oh, 
Oh, do I get to use Ursaluna now? Ursaluna opened his heart and learned well the playing of your tune. Earthplate! Nice! Ursaluna is very good at finding things that are buried in the ground. You say that he's digging for treasure, even if their treasure might not always glitter or gleam. Now go and let your commander know of what transpired here, child of the galaxy team. Galaxy team, I can't talk. You're back! Get to the commander's office, quick! Why? What happened? Did something happen? Oh shit. But first I gotta go talk to Silene about getting my promotion. Oh, there's my husband, Adamon. Yui, we have a situation here. Let me explain. Lilligan, our clan's Lady of the Ridge, is in a frenzy. And Adaza knowingly kept this from me. Lady of what? Yes, there are only female Lilligan, which makes this honor one our Lady of the Ridge. But this isn't a time for cultural lessons. I'd like to find out just what Adaza was thinking, but she's nowhere in Jubilee Village. Last I saw, she was at the Wallflower polishing off a big old plate of potato mochi. I mean, who wanted it? The potato mochi looks like it's so good. Not that I blame her, my cooking is simply irresistible after all. Hell yeah, dude. If Adaza of the Diamond Clan was somehow involved in that situation with the raging Ursa Luna of the Pearl Clan, it could lead to the two clans going at each other's throats again. Tell me, Commander, if we do end up in a struggle with the Pearl Clan, what will your people do? We would be forced to remain neutral. Meaning what? If we were to show support for one side, it would put us at odds with the other. We came here to create a home for ourselves, not take part in tearing the land apart. Right, of course. After all the work you've put to get us to treat one another as equals and keeping us from fighting, I suppose it's no surprise you'd refuse to intervene if trouble were to break out again. Yui, perhaps you have some idea how we might address this situation? I could call Ursulina! Oh! Ursulina could sniff out uh, the potato mochi smell off of Adazu. Ursulina, so he and Warden Kalaba found you worthy. That's perfect then! Ursulina should be able to sniff out Adazu whenever she's gone. If you are strong enough that Ursulina deemed you worthy, then you should be ready to quell the Lilligan's frenzy as well. I'll head to Lilligan's seat then. Brave Arena, it's called, if you'll excuse me. Listen to Yui. We must quell any Pokemon that could cause harm to the people of Heasley. Always remember, we came here to make a new home where we could live without war or strife. Yeah, 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 gotcha, no violence. That girl who set out earlier must have been eating some of Benny's potato mochi. I could still smell it on her. That reminds me, I see Mistress Kalaba running around on that Ursaluna she serves, digging for treasure in the ground. I wonder if Ursaluna uses his senses of smell to suss out where treasure might be. Oh, god damn it. I said the funny Among Us word. God damn it. All right, she's over here. Oh, there she is. That was easy. Hey, girl, what's up? Oh, Yui. How did it all go with Ursaluna? I helped him. Thanks a bunch, girl, but how'd you find me all the way out here? Ursaluna found you. You tracked me all the way here by the scent of those potato mochi I ate? That Ursulina sure is something. I know he's descended from one of the Pokemon that were blessed by Almighty Sinnoh, but still, wow. My luck's run out, the, as you can most likely tell. I got chased by a Pokemon and sprained my ankle pretty bad as I was running away. It's almost like the world wants to punish me. Ah, there you are, Arzu, right? Eek! M Mistress Kalaba, I, I didn't... I owe you an apology. I treated you with disrespect, thinking you were just some wealth from the Diamond Clan. I'm sorry for that. I should have treated you better. Huh? Wait, but... It's not your fault that Lilligan became frenzied, nor that my Ursaluna was so enraged. You were trying to help them both, weren't you? I didn't even have the courtesy to listen to you. You'd think someone who's lived as long as I would be more patient. It's okay. I didn't do a good job explaining myself either. Ursaluna only started acting weird after you got too close to Lilligant and smelled her perfume. She was already frenzied by that point, so I'm sure that's what caused it. Ah, that explains the strange powder I found on Ursaluna. It must have been powder from Lilligant. But what happened to your leg, dear? I was gathering in ingredients to make bombs, but I, I fell and sprained my ankle. See, the reason I went to Jubilife was to get help for Ursaluna and also learn about crafting. And while I was there, I bumped into Professor Laventon, and he told me about the bombs you used to quell Kalivor. So I thought I'd make some for Lilligant using your favorite foods. 
You galaxy people know all sorts of things. I'd like to learn more fr from you, really. Well, then we better take care of our lady and get this mess resolved first. When did you get here, Adamon? Adamon, what were you thinking? Doing all this yourself. Did you really think I couldn't help you? Though no one would blame you for thinking so. Not much of a leader, am I? I've never even seen Almighty Sinnoh with my own eyes. And I fail to imagine that Lilligan might have become frenzied too. Listen up, Yui. I'll take the bombs that Adazi made and meet you at the Brave Arena. Don't you worry, Adazil. Yui will calm Lilligan, and then that'll be that. Things should be settled down. Head to Brave Arena, Yui. That's where Lilligan's seat lies. Adazil will be taken care of. My dear Bibaral and I will make sure she reaches her lady. Alright. Jump! Jump! Come on! We almost got it! We can get up there once, we can get up there again. Come on. Got it. Get that wisp. <gasps> Is that a Ralts? That's a Ralts. Oh, I want you. Come here. I want you. How was that right there? Is that a Curlia? Oh, I think that's a Curlia. We're gonna slowly sneak off on it and we're gonna catch it. Got it! Yes! Oh wait, bounce can evolve. Oh shit. Nice. Love to see it. Did not even notice that. It's the furry bait. 